Hey guys, it's Amanda, also known as Amateur Aries, and today I'm talking to you about my non-beauty favorites. Usually when I talk about my non-beauty favorites, it's just like entertainment that keeps me entertained at the time period, and those become my favorites because it's very hard to keep me entertained. <laughs> so, today we're talking about mostly my entertainment, what I've been watching, what I've been reading, and what I've been kind of doing. So, let's start off with movies and TV shows. I've been watching quite a bit, like watch it like binging throughout the day while I'm working and then going on to the next episode stuff like that so some of the shows that I've been watching I always write them down because I always tend to forget I finished Good Girls I watched that on Netflix I finished it up I loved it it's funny it's a great show maybe I should do some little descriptions for you guys about the shows Oh, this is a long little three. Okay, I'll read a little bit, short bit of it. When sisters Beth and Annie and their best friend Ruby become fed up with playing by the rules and not getting the respect they deserve, they band together to take control of their lives by holding up a, a local grocery store. So that's all I'm going to say about it because there's a lot to it and that was a lot of a description so I'm not going to continue on with that. But I did finish the season. It was great. I watched it within like a day. Like fully within 24 hours. Zach and I just binged it. It was great. He loved it too. I just finished up watching the documentary on Ted Bunny that was also on Netflix. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, I'm really into true crime and also into cryptid zoology and I'm into a whole bunch of other things like viruses and ghost stories. I'm really into that dark stuff so if you want to know about a channel I, I have and I created it's Between Monsters and Men where I talk about that type of stuff go ahead and check it out. I'll leave the little thing here and there's gonna be it's gonna be linked in the description below. But I did watch the documentary on Ted Bundy. It just blows my mind that people still think that he was innocent. Like he admitted before his death that he was not innocent. He admitted it. <laughs> like seriously how do you not believe how do you still believe that he's Anyway, we are also, we're caught in between a couple of series. We're not currently watching any animes, though we should be watching the last season of Attack on Titan. We watched the first three episodes and then we stopped. <laughs> I think we just forgot they were coming out. <laughs> so we stopped watching them. But we need to get back into that. Uh, we're waiting for the next season of My Hero Ac Academia to come out. And we're also waiting for One Punch Man to come out, which is sometime in April. Didn't have a specific date. I'm super excited about it, though. I'm a big One Punch Man fan. And when I'm big One he My Hero Academy, I might rewatch it again soon because I can just watch that series over and over again. It's one of those animes for me. We're also currently, since Captain Marvel and Avengers is coming out in a couple months, we are currently watching all the Marvel movies, just the movies, not the seasons, um, right now in row of timeline. Like, Captain America's first because he's, like, the oldest Avenger, his timeline, his movie timeline came out first and going that route. Um, so what my mom and dad did. So we're doing that right now to kind of keep ourselves up to date on what happened. So then we watched the Avengers, we're like, we get it. We get it. Because when they skip a couple years to come out with movies, like, your brain kind of fries a little bit. So currently, we just finished watching Avengers, the first one. And then I think it turns to Iron Man 3, and then Thor Dark World, and then... See, I don't, I don't have a good memory. I have a list on my computer. So that's what we're also doing. We also we are also watching a show called Sex Education. It's, again, on Netflix. We're watching a lot of things on Netflix. We also have Hulu and Funimation. It is a British comedy, and it's... I mean, some people don't like British comedy because British comedy is a different kind of comedy than American comedy. I like it because I grew up with my grandma who's from England and my dad has that kind of Eng like English British com comedy kind of thing. So I'm used to that sort of comedy. I know that's weird to say. But a lot of people, some people are not, don't think it's funny. Some people think it's weird, you know, some people, you know. So this is what it's a little about. Socially awkward high school student Otis may not have experience in lovemaking department, but he gets good guidance on the topic in his personal sex, sex ed course, living with mom, Jean, who is a sex therapist. Let me read a little bit more because it doesn't tell you exactly what it's about. Being surrounded by manuals, videos, and tedious open conversations about sex, Otis has become a reluctant expert on the subject. When his classmates learn about his home life, Otis decides to use his insider knowledge to improve his status at school. So his teams with he teams up with a whip smart bad girl Maeve to set up an underground sex therapy clinic. That's all I'm gonna say because 
the first couple of sentences didn't really tell you what the show is about for some reason. But it is, I think it's hilarious. And me and Zach are kind of hooked. I'm really hooked. So like, I want to watch it every night. But we are also trying to watch the Marvel Universe before Captain Marvel comes out. So it's kind of like, uh, we got to mix it up now. So we're on episode, I want to say six. And there's eight episodes. So we're getting close to the end. I, I love the show. And I think it's set for second season, I think. Let's hope so. And I'm also, for those who do not know, I watch a lot of Korean dramas. Uh, we are still watching Love 020. Um, let me read you about that one. Love 020 is a Chinese drama. A couple over overcomes numerous obstacles after falling in love through an online gaming. That's really basically a very sen like small sentence about it. But it's a great romance. It's oh, so good. I haven't... We got hooked on it, but we're on the last three episodes, and we're kind of hesitant on watching them because we don't want it to be over. <laughs> have you ever had that where you're in their show, and you're like, you love it so much, but you're in the last year, you're like, I really don't want to watch it because I don't want it to end, but you want to watch it because you want to see the ending, but you kind of know what the ending's about because in these type of shows, it always leads to that particular ending, you know what I'm saying? But we do watch a lot of Asian dramas a lot. And the one I'm currently watching is Chio, Chio Young. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Do not go after me for not pronouncing it right. I am not Korean. After a family tragedy disgraced, Detective Chio Young discovers he can see and hear spirits and begins to solve puzzling crimes thanks to the insights left behind by the disease victims. Again, that kind of goes along with my I like the paranormal and true crime. So I'm loving this show. It's act kind of like wavering away. You can watch on occasion. But I love these type of shows. I just got done watching, about a couple months ago, I got done watching a Korean show called Black. And it's my favorite Korean drama of all. Like, maybe it's my top favorite five TV shows. I don't know what my first five are. But I, it's definitely in the top five. I don't know if it's the first, but it's definitely top five. Let me just read you that, just in case you guys are interested in Korean dramas and want to know some really, really good ones. This is a very vague description, but I actually couldn't really find a better one. A man possessed by death, a woman who can see death, the earthly and the afterworld collide dangerously. It's very good. It's about a grim reapers and a woman who can see death and detective work all in one. So I really think it's a great show to watch. It's one of my favorites. It left me on my toes. I was not sus ex suspecting, expecting the, the outcome of the storyline at all, which is a big surprise for me because I like I said, I'm really into true crime, so I'm able to figure things out because, well, I know true crime. I've watched enough of it. I've read enough of it. I've studied enough of it. It's just like, when I, what I usually watch, like American true crime, I can figure it out like this. But when I watch Korean ones, they get so deep into that crap. They get deep. They twist it all up on you. So I really like watching Korean true crimes and stuff like that because they're good at what they do. <laughs> Alright, so those are the shows that I've watched currently, what I finished, what I really liked. Now on to the books that I've been reading. I've only been reading two books. Uh, I think last... Mon Beauty favorites. I showed you this book, but I've actually gotten back into it. I kind of stopped after that video. I'm rereading Mantras Among Us by Linda S. Godriff. Godfrey. I'm actually doing a research because, again, I do have a channel where I talk about monsters and cryptids and true, true crime and paranormal. And I'm looking through all of her, her things and I can't seem to find any documentation of anything that she talks about, except for like maybe a couple. But she says she gets a lot of hers from interviews, so obviously if no one else experienced those experiences except for those people, those are the only people who are going to be talking about it. So I'm just kind of like surprised that I haven't been able to find any information. I've been big into researching that type of stuff, but I'm thus far, not very far, but like I said, I've been researching shit, researching, researching it at the same time. So I haven't been getting really far in it. Tomorrow's a big day for my Between Monsters and Men's. I'll be doing a lot of research for it. And I'm also reading Joe Hill's Horns. I've watched the movie. I love the movie. I began the book and I'm at this part in the book where I'm just like at a stalemate. Like this is kind of getting boring. I don't really like this part. But basically, I'm not going to read you this entire I'm just going to read this bottom description because it's the best description. Now Ig is possessed of horns and, is a, and a terrible new power. He can hear people's deepest and darkest secrets to go 
and to go with his terrible new look. He means to use it to find whoever killed Marin and destroy his life. Being good and praying for the best got him nowhere. It's time for a little revenge. It's time the devil had his, had his due. It's really good. I'm just at this point in the book where he, it's talking about their like the main character's past and his friends in his past and I just find it so boring. I don't care about that. I want to learn more about the murder and how is he gonna get to them? And how is he gonna find out? How is he? That's what I want to read. So I'm at this part in the story where I'm at like his past, learning about his past. I don't, like don't even care. And it's so there's so many pages before you get back to that point where he's like, oh, I'm gonna start going after these people again. What is it? See, so, yeah. I'm not that far away from it, but it's far away enough where I'm like I'm hesitant to read it now because I'm getting bored. <laughs> so. I, I don't know if I'll finish it. I might just skip these chapters and get on with the story. Um, so far, I like it. The movie, however, is great. It has Daniel Redfield in it. Red Redfield or is it Redcliffe? Damn it, not to look it up. Red Radcliffe. It's Rad. It has him in it, and it's a great movie. And a little tidbit for those who are book nerds: Joe Hill is the um, alias of Stephen King's son. So if you're a big Stephen King uh, reader and you want something that's similar to his work, uh, Joe Hill does a lot of writing and it is his son. The writing is not the same. It's not as detailed or as sophisticated as Stephen King's. I'm not saying he's not sophisticated. It's a great book. It's just whenever I read Stephen King, I find myself having to reread some pages because it's just so detailed. I feel like I'm losing details when I'm reading it. Has anyone else experienced that? But that one is easy to read through and it doesn't see, I don't need to reread anything. So if you find, if you want a little bit of taste of Stephen King, but you don't want to go through all that detail, I would suggest Joe Hill's books because it's so far pretty good. So those are the two books that I'm currently reading. The next book I'm going to be reading is Me Before You, or is it You Before Me? Me Before You. And I'll admit the only reason I'm going to read that book is because Millie Clark is in the movie. <laughs> that is the only reason. <laughs> but knows maybe it's a good book. <laughs> uh, I like the movie but I am very critical about the ending. I just I, I don't I'm torn about the ending so let's just leave it at that. Games that I've been playing. I actually haven't been playing games for the last couple of months. I just haven't been in the mood to play games which is weird for me because I'm a huge gamer. I usually that's all I ever used to do is play games. That's how I lived. It's how I coped with my mental disorders and everything like that. It was my coping mechanism. Um, however, lately I, I really haven't been playing games and I'm not really sure why. Um, but the two games that I have been playing, one is for my gaming channel. I've been playing Jurassic World Evolution. But I only been playing it for my gaming channel so it's like I only play like <laughs> once a month because I, I when I do play I film like five episodes per day so I have to edit those episodes and put them like a week apart from each other so it's I only don't get to play that much it's really dusty for some reason and I currently just bought about a week ago Kingdom Hearts so when this video comes out it's probably like <laughs> probably a month ago I bought Kingdom Hearts I started playing it and I'm not sure how I feel there is a I'm not gonna spoil anything there's just a lot of um, what's it called scenes in the game so far I think I'm just in the beginning I think I just have to go through the beginning to get out of that but it kind of just it threw me away from the game a little bit because when I'm playing a game I want to I want scenes in it don't get me wrong but I also want a good rhythm between scenes and gameplay and I just feel like there's constant scenes and little gameplay so far I'm only in the beginning of it don't go judging me I just I get really picky that quickly I'm a big Kingdom Hearts fan I have all the games I just I guess I'm a little picky right now because it's the last one and I don't want it to be the last one so I'm being real, real, really, 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 really critical about it but I want to open my heart to it at the same time so I'm probably going to sit down tomorrow because tomorrow I also have the day off and I'm probably going to just sit down and play for a couple hours and just let myself reimburse myself. I probably also should play all the other ones again because this is the last one when I was watching some of the scenes I'm like what is going on here? I don't remember any of this. What is happening? I was really like, I was like, I don't get what's going on. Even Zach was like, what the hell is going on? 
I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and I've played the game, so I'm like really confused. It's been a long time since i played a lot of Marvel, so it could just be my memory's just shot from it all. But I should probably play a lot of the first ones before I get back to this one. But I will. I will sit down and play this one tomorrow, probably. Although I'm supposed to be working all day tomorrow. See how that turns out, eh? And lastly, what have I been doing? I have been doing this for a little bit, but this is a current project I'm working on and what I need to get back to doing in their dragon eggs. I've been working on dragon eggs. It's halfway done. It's not fully done. This is the Drogon egg I'm working on. It's dusty. Oh my god, it tells you I haven't been working on this for a while. But they're dro it's uh, Drogon eggs. I do plan on making a lot of these and selling them in the future. So if you're interested in purchasing Dragon eggs, small ones. I have three already made. This is my fourth one. I'm actually doing this for the crafting videos. But I kind of got delayed with life because, like I said, I, I've been kind of been having things going on personally in my life, which has been kind of preventing me from doing things. But these are dragon eggs. I will be selling them in the future when I get a bunch of them done. Um, if you want to purchase any in the future, I will put up a video before I put them on an Etsy site or my, my Etsy site. So that you guys have a heads up and can keep an eye out if you want to purchase them yourself. I'm not asking you guys, hey, go buy my stuff because I'm cool or I really need the money. It's just if you're interested because I like dragons, Game of Thrones is ending soon, and it's just like you want a little piece of something, something. So that is what I have been working on. So that's all my non-beauty favorites or entertainment that I've been having going on in my life. If I hope this has inspired you of something you might want to watch or read. Uh, that's why I read the little biographies because you never know if if you are watching these particular videos because you don't know what to watch next or you've been curious about this particular show. Um, and then I hope I gave you a little bit of something something to kind of persuade you to watch it or to not watch it so you can move on with your life or just have a little entertainment yourself. Or maybe we can talk about what we just watched or read because I hope you liked. If you like to see more videos like this, might be like every other month that I might do a video like this because my entertainment switches slowly sometimes. Um, then yeah, you see there's a then. Like, comment, and subscribe, and please hit that thumbs up so I can get on the algorithm.